13.7 billion years after it all began, we're about to go back to the beginning of time. With the largest and most complex scientific experiment ever attempted. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, has just one simple but audacious aim to recreate the conditions of the Big Bang in an attempt to answer the most profound questions about our universe. The goal of particle physics is to understand the universe in which we live. We want to know why things are the way they are, how they work, what everything is. We want to understand. If you're going to go for the big questions, then you have to go for it. Right? There's no point in sort of messing around. If you really want to understand how the universe ticks, uh, the LHC is what you need. When the switch is thrown, this could be either the beginning of the end, when we find that our theories of what existed just after the Big Bang are right, or it could be the end of the beginning, where we discover that the universe is more mysterious and more beautiful than we could possibly have imagined. The Large Hadron Collider spans the French-Swiss border just outside Geneva. It's the largest particle accelerator ever constructed. I'm Brian Cox, and I've been helping build it along with thousands of other scientists at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. <laughs> This is, the, this is the experiment, if you like, Q1, Q2, Q3. Mm. So you can see that One of the scientists overseeing the launch of the biggest experiment since NASA sent men to the moon is Paul Collier. So it's not going to be like a, 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 a moon shot where you see Capcom go, go, go. <laughs> it's going to be a bank of experts saying, my bit's all right, my bit's all right, my bit's Probably, all right. yes. You must get asked this all the time. Is there a, Actually, big is there a button? Who's going to press it? Is it there is not at the moment a button, but I'm seriously considering buying one. Uh, <laughs> but the LHC is not like a, it's not like a rocket. There will not be a countdown. There will not be a button to press, unfortunately. Uh, the buttons we have are all uh, computer sequences, which we have to go through to, to prepare the machine. It'll be standing room only here when the world's most eminent particle physicists gather to watch this remarkable machine spring to life. <laughs> What's the scene going to be like on the, the day that the first beam goes around the LHC? What's it going to feel like in this control room? Yeah, it's going to be an interesting time and quite exciting. I, the, the first thing I should say is there will be two people on duty here, one physicist uh, and one technical engineer. So if you like, two people will be doing the work and then probably 200 people will be standing behind <laughs> watching them work, I hope. Yes. And of course we'll have, to, we'll have to keep control of that. It's brilliant actually, it's fascinating. All of us who work at CERN hope that this will become the world's most renowned Big Bang laboratory. That here we'll discover something so fundamental that it will change our understanding of the cosmos. Because right now, even the brightest minds and the best theories all fall short of explaining what occurred as the universe burst into existence. Physics is stuck, and the only thing left to do is recreate the universe as it was a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. And that's what the LHC is designed to do, to smash bits of matter together at energies never before achieved, so we can stare at the face of creation.
Every civilization has its own creation story. The ancient Chinese, Indian mystics and Christian theologians all place a divine creator at the heart of their creation stories. Science too has an elaborate story that describes the universe's genesis. It tells us how the fundamental constituents of the cosmos took on their form. The difference with this story is that we can test it. We can find out if it's true by tearing matter apart and looking at the pieces. All you need is a machine powerful enough to restage the first moments after creation. In the beginning, there was nothing. No space, no time, just endless nothing. Then, 13.7 billion years ago, from nothing... ...came everything. The universe exploded into existence. From that fireball of energy emerged the simplest building blocks of matter. Finding experimental evidence of these fundamental entities has become the holy grail of physics. Well, the universe is um, an object that is not stable. It is expanding and cooling. It's doing things. And uh, it was therefore different in the past and it will be different in the future. It has a history, it has a life, it has an evolution. As the early universe grew, its mysterious primeval constituents transformed themselves into atoms, then molecules, and eventually stars and planets. Now, billions of years on from the Big Bang, the universe is so complex that all traces of the enigmatic building blocks are lost. Understanding the evolution of the universe requires understanding what it is made of. As it turns out, most of that of which the universe is made are things that we do not understand at all. But we hope that the LHC is about to bridge this profound gap in our knowledge by peering further back in time than ever before. The LHC is truly colossal. Its accelerator ring is 27 kilometers long big enough to encircle a small city. And around it, we've built four enormous experiments that will investigate the Big Bang in exquisite new detail. This is my experiment, the experiment that I work on, ATLAS. And uh, what you can see is just the surface buildings. The, the experiment is actually 100 metres below the ground, which is where the, the LHC is. And Basically, this is just a, a building that covers cranes where we winch everything down. And this is pretty much the last time that not only TV crews, but me and the people that built it will be able to go down. Because once it starts operating, the whole area becomes a, a radiation area. It becomes mildly radioactive. 